Okay, so we're doing good vibrations homework from Flip Physics, the harmonic scalpel. This is standing waves from unit 11, problem one, there's only one problem. A crystal experiences resonance at certain frequencies. The greatest amplitude in the crystal occurs at its fundamental resonance frequency. In this mode, the standing wave in the crystal has a configuration, antinode, node, antinode. So that's, I mean, pretty simple, right? A, N, A. Um, a given crystal is vibrating at its fundamental resonance frequency. This is also the frequency at which the entire scalpel vibrates. So the frequency equals six times 10 to the fourth. The speed of sound in the crystal, V, equals four times 10 to the third. And this is meters per second. And then this one up here is Hertz. Okay, um, so that's the speed of sound in the crystal. And they wanna know what the thickness of the crystal is. So what's thickness? Okay, so the equation that I have for this one is <clears throat> frequency equals n, velocity, 2L. And so what do we have? We have frequency, we have this velocity, and L. L would be the thickness. That's what we're going to be searching for. So we just rearrange this equation to solve for L, which is actually pretty simple. Um, we just multiply both sides by L and divide both sides by frequency. So, right, we just, so we can cross that out here, which gives us, and then, of course, we're gonna be multiplying both sides by one over the frequency. frequency. So that we can cross the frequency out both sides. So we get L equals N V over two frequency. <clears throat> and then it's as simple as plugging stuff in. Um, one is the value for n because we're at resonance frequency. Um, and then the velocity we has as, oh, am I off the page a little bit? I am, my apologies. There's one. And then, like I said, the frequency is four times 10 to the third. Did I say velocity or frequency? I meant velocity, but you should, you, you get it. And then two times the frequency, which is six times 10 to the fourth. Pretty bad handwriting, but that is six times 10 to the fourth, I swear. And then if you plug this into your calculator, you should get thickness of the crystal to be 0 0.033 meters. And that's it.